I'm David Carnoy, executive editor for CNET.com, and I'm here at Amazon's offices in Seattle with their new tablets. Amazon has introduced three new tablets. These are all third generation Kindle Fire tablets. Uh, for starters, you have the now entry level Kindle Fire HD. That is $139. It is basically the same model as last year with a new design, but same processor and same screen. Uh, now there are two new Kindle Fire HDXs, a 7-inch model and an 8.9-inch model. That HDX refers to the display. They're both higher resolution displays. Uh, on the 7-inch, it's a 1920 by 1200 display. And on the Step Up 8.9, it is 2560 by 1600 and they both have high PPI counts on the 7 inch is 323 and on the 8.9 it's 339 PPI. Some other key features to talk about um, on the HDX models these are the first models to have the new Snapdragon 800 processor it's a quad core processor it runs at 2.2 gigahertz uh, so a very fast processor. The 8.9 inch model is only 13.2 ounces so it's a thinner tablet. That model has a rear-facing camera as well as a front-facing camera. All the new tablets run the new Fire OS 3.0. Uh, that's based on Android Jelly Bean, but it's obviously a highly customized uh, OS. Amazon is also highlighting its new Mayday feature. It's really a unique feature. Um, it allows you to tap on the Mayday button and be connected with a customer service representative. If you have a good Wi-Fi connection, it'll be a video connection, and that person will be able to help you with your device, actually walk you through some of the features and allow you to set up certain things you might not be able to set up. Another new feature is Prime Instant Video Downloads. Uh, if you are a Prime member, you will now be able to download certain episodes. You can take them on a plane or while you're on the go. You don't have to stream everything now. There is X-Ray for music. Um, as you're playing a song, you will see lyrics scroll across the right side of the screen as you're playing that song. Now, in case you're wondering uh, how fast that Snapdragon 800 processor is, Amazon is saying that it's 3x the CPU performance and 4x the graphics performance. Uh, so obviously you can play some graphically intensive games on this tablet without a problem. A lot smoother experience overall, very responsive. Uh, so a big upgrade in terms of responsiveness. And from a UI standpoint, um, Amazon with its earlier OS had a carousel view. That was the main view, but now there is a grid view. A lot of people had been asking for that grid view. From the front, anyway, the devices kind of look like last year's models. Uh, however, when you turn them around, you notice that they do have beveled edges. The 8.9 is a lot thinner, um, and there are hard buttons on the back. You have volume control on the back of the device and a power button. Uh, these do seem to be well thought out and well placed. I'm David Carnoy, and those are the new Kindle Fire tablets from Amazon. Thanks for watching.